I'm going to need you Negroes to stop saying that our ancestors died for us to vote. I seriously don't believe our ancestors died for us to vote. First of all, they were murdered. They didn't just die, they were murdered. With that being said, between being hung, whipped, raped, and getting their toes chopped off, and everything else they were going through, I really don't think voting for a new massa was important to them. I believe they fought for their freedom, not die to vote. Please stop saying that. It makes no sense and it's disrespectful to our ancestors. Now, let me make myself clear. I don't think that our ancestors gave a fuck about voting. That voting shit is for you new Negroes. Question. Where in history have black people benefited from, vote, from voting? Where in history have black people benefited from voting? I can understand Jewish and pink people voting. I guess Jewish and pink people are the same thing. At least they look the exact same to me. They actually benefit from politics. Jewish people and pink people, which is one of the same, actually are the only people that benefit from politics. We're at the bottom of the totem pole, no matter who wins. I really don't care what reason, I don't care what your reason is for voting. I'm just letting you know that no matter which supremacist you choose, you're still going to be black in America. Go ahead and vote for Massa. I really think y'all black asses vote to feel like you're a part of something. Really don't want to bring up Ice Cube's chunky ass, but I am. This boy is rich. He can build schools, buy an island, build a hospital, but instead his dumb ass wants to go sit down with Massa and ask for help. Why do black people think they need pink people to help them do shit? Why do black people think that they need pink people to help them do shit that they can do for themselves? I don't see Asians going to Massa to beg for shit. Hell, Mexicans don't even beg for pink people's help either. Every other race is self-sufficient without them. But we blacks are convinced that we need pink people for everything. I find it very disturbing and selfish that Ice Cube, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Diddy, 50 Cent, Oprah, Swiss Beats, Pharrell, Tyler Perry, Spike Lee, and I could go on and on and on. All of these rich clowns together could build a black world for us. They could buy land in Africa and move us all over there. But they only care about themselves. They want the, um, I'm sorry, excuse me. They all want the pink man's approval and acceptance. I say fuck all of those weak ass celebrities. They aren't worth shit. I don't support nothing they do. They're just buck dancers and no good to anyone. Voting is not going to liberate us. Protesting and marching and praying definitely isn't going to do shit. Working in the system which is set to oppress or kill us is not going to liberate us. Ice Cube's chubby ass ain't going to do shit for us. He's showing us that right now. There are black folks who have come to realize that all this shit is garbage. And, the, and they only want it. And the only way it won't be is for it to all end. You know, revolution. Are you familiar with the term revolution? Freedom is never given. Do y'all really believe pink people are going to give up their supremacy? Do y'all think they feel sorry for you? 
freedom is never given. It's taken. I believe black people's problem is that they consider themselves free. But they're actually not. You're just used to your miserable condition. You have been desensitized. The oppressors have no claim to the shit they think they own. They will be dealt with eventually. And so will all of you buck dancers and mammies. The saddest part is you blacks that just don't know. The saddest part is that you blacks just don't know or care. You have blacks totally oblivious to their history or history period. They know more about the next football game or reality shows than they do about Marcus Garvey. The truth is the past makes the present. Then, there, then there's um, real star hip hop videos. No matter how disgusting it is, that is us. I hate to say it, but that is us. I find it very disgusting. We have been conditioned that way. Like I said before, you have many blacks struggling in a system not designed for us. We don't support each other and there's no unity. We are too forgiving, we are always in our feelings, and we treat other races better than we treat our own. Umar is not going to do shit for y'all. He has showed you that time and time again. Tariq is not going to do shit for y'all. Boyce's big head isn't going to do shit for y'all, and neither is No Neck Roland Martin. None of them are going to do shit for y'all. They're not going to save you. But they consider themselves as leaders. And they take your money. You don't seem to have a problem with that. They take all your money and lie to you. Hell, I got a fucking uh, cash app. Send me your money that you're going to send to those uh, clowns. And I'll at least tell you the truth. You send your money to them and they tell you a lie. Think about that. Why do y'all keep trying to integrate with people who don't like you? I see that as a mental illness. You know, I've lost a lot of male subscribers to my channel. Probably due to me telling the truth. It doesn't matter. I'll say it again. Our black men has failed us. We are not protected. If that hurts your feelings, then make a change. Don't hate me. Hate the people that are oppressing you. Every time we get money, we run and give it to the oppressor. Most of us would rather give it to Massa than help their own people. Black people are messed up. There, I said it. Black people are messed up. We will never rise as a people because we are too busy hating each other. And we are diverse and divided for us. We are too diverse and divided for us to accomplish anything. As a people, we are over 400 years behind and won't catch up. Our ancestors taught these pink monsters how to, but how to bathe, brush their teeth, cook, sing, dance, and everything else under the sun. And today, we feel as though we need them to live. That's a damn disgrace. Seriously, y'all. Y'all should feel ashamed of yourselves. Especially these new Negroes that are rich. Some of them still don't know how to wash their ass. These pink people don't even know how to wash their ass today. Shit. They don't even use washcloths to take a bath. They just rinse off. No washcloth at all. Maybe they might add a little bit of soap and, you know, rub the soap on them, but that's not a darn bath. They still don't know how to take a bath today. And they think they're superior to us. 
And y'all dumbasses think that they are superior to you. Well, hell, all races think that they are superior to us, now that I think about it. They're, you know what? They damn sure know how to stick together, and we don't. I'm African. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Haitian. No, I'm Brazilian. I'm Cuban. I'm Caribbean. Y'all don't even know what race you are. How the hell can we get free or any damn thing when y'all don't even know what fucking race you are? I'm done.